Well, there is encouraging news tonight about jobs in this country. The economy added a remarkable 95,000 jobs in May. That is the biggest monthly jobs gain in over a decade. The question is, is it the start of a trend or just a temporary blip? Christina Stevens reports. 45-year-old Raj Mukherjee is a marketing and communications professional, but instead of doing the job he loves, he's spending his days searching work sites and finessing resumes. After moving his family here from India a year ago, he has struggled to find a job. It's so frustrating because you feel that, okay, this is a job, so there's no way they can not call me at least for an interview, but you don't even get called. Now, renewed hope with the latest numbers. 95,000 new jobs in Canada in May. That's one of the single strongest monthly gains we've ever seen for Canadian employment. So as a standalone report, it's, it's spectacular. But Doug Porter cautions you have to put it in context. It came off of four months where we saw no net job growth in Canada. So when you average out the first five months of the year, it's been kind of average for the Canadian economy. The single biggest driver of the increase, construction which added 43,000 new jobs. Another bright spot, youth employment. An additional 54,000 young people joined the workforce last month. And there were regional differences. Ontario led the country with the most job gains, followed by Quebec and Alberta, while four provinces saw a small number of job losses. The finance minister calls the overall numbers encouraging. It's pretty good in Canada, relatively speaking, but I'd like to see even more growth. Most of the gains were full-time jobs in the private sector. It wasn't self-employment or, or public sector or, uh, employment pumping up the numbers. The, these job gains actually looked real in May. The unemployment rate is now 7.1 percent, which means the job market remains competitive. Access Employment says it can take their clients four to five months to find a job, so the search requires persistence. Making sure that your resume is, is standing out to employers, that you're making good connections just through your networking. Mukherjee is optimistic. I think it's a land of opportunity, so we will we'll make it. Christina Stevens, Global News, Toronto.